there. I'm Master Sergeant Dean Woods from the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. And I'm going to show you the bassoon. I'm going to show you taking it out of the case and the parts of the bassoon. So here is my bassoon here. You might notice that my case is a little smaller than most because I have a different joint system. What we're going to do is we're going to unzip the case. That's how I have it. I have a zipper here. It's kind of like opening luggage, really. Just open that. And this is the bassoon here. Usually the name brand of the bassoon is always on the bell here. Mine says R. Walter. That's a maker in Germany, Rudolf Walter. Okay, so we're going to start with what's called the boot joint. This is the boot, uh, just meaning that's the bottom uh, joint. Next joint is the, it's called the tenor joint. Okay, we're going to put that in the smallest hole here, just like so. Other joint is called the long joint. Okay, this is the long joint. Put it here, just like that. Make sure it's nice and in there. And then we have the bell. My bell again is longer because I have a segmented portion here. I'm going to put the bell on, and then you have what's called the vocal, or sometimes it's called the crook. Okay, this is what the vocal looks like. I'm going to put that on here. Just like so. It has a cork that goes right in there. Now, we have the seat strap, which is here. And you can see that the seat strap hooks onto the bottom of the boot. And the reason why it does that is because when I sit on the strap, it keeps the bassoon so I don't have to hold it up. Basically, it keeps the weight off of my hands. And lastly, we have the reed. The reed is what makes the sound on the bassoon. Just like that. So then I put the reed on the instrument. And I also have what's called a crutch, which is basically a hand rest that I put right here. Tighten that up, and that's your, that's the complete assembly of the bassoon. And this is the, you wanna sit back with your back against the chair. And when you bring the bassoon up to play, you just simply put the reed in your mouth. So it looks like that.